Hello, this is Mr. McGovern. This is the seventh video in the electromagnetism series where we're looking at inducing a voltage in the wire. So we've already kind of looked at in the last couple of videos, if we have a wire and there's already current going through it, so it's already connected to a battery, um, and it's sitting perpendicular inside a magnetic field, there's going to be a force in that wire. It creates movement. But what about the opposite? What if we have the wire, there's no battery connected to it, it's it's in the magnetic field and we force it through the magnetic field. Does that create electricity? And it turns out it does. So this is what this topic's about, inducing a voltage. And inducing is for many of you a new word. What it means is it means to create voltage through your actions. Okay, so you do something, in this case move the wire through the field and that creates the voltage. So that's what inducing voltage means. So we're going to look at three things in this. We're going to look at an explanation. We need to be able to explain it. Um, we need to be able to figure out the direction the electrons go in this wire after we move it through the field. And then there's a, um, a formula to work out the amount of voltage we create. So I've got my wire here. It's sitting in my external magnetic field. Those magnetic field lines are pointing out of the page. That's what the dots represent. And I'm moving the wire to the right. So I, first of all, I take my conducting wire and move it through the magnetic field, which is what the diagram shows. Now we know that a, a conducting wire has free moving electrons. They have the ability to, to move around. That's how they conduct electricity, right? Now, the electrons are in the wire, and I'm moving the wire to the right. Therefore, all of my electrons are moving to the right. We know that moving electrons create their own magnetic fields. That's what this whole topic's been about. When they create their own magnetic field and become sort of magnetized, they interact with the, the white dots that are already there, the external magnetic field. We know when we bring two magnetic fields together, there's a force, right? So there's a force on these electrons, and what happens is it pushes them to one end of the wire. They all accumulate at that end. The other end of the wire becomes positive, because all the electrons have been moved one way, which leaves a positive charge at the other end. So you have one end is negative, one end is positive. You've kind of got a battery, a positive and a negative end. That's inducing a voltage. Now, the first thing we're going to talk about is the direction, which way it all goes. So I'm just going to go through this explanation and just run through it using my, my left hand to work out which way things go. So I've got my conducting wire. Um, the wire has free moving electrons, and the electrons move with the wire. They move to the right. So let's draw an electron. Here's my giant electron in the wire, and there's many of those. They're all moving to the right. right? Moving electrons create their own magnetic field. So how do I do that? I do that with my left hand. If I want to point it to um, the, the right, this is how I um, orient my hand. And then I work out the field around that electron. So by doing this with my fingers, I have crosses above the electron and dots below the electron. Now this electron, now that I've seen what the field is around it, I can see how it interacts with the white um, external magnetic field. And I know the opposites attract, the opposites are above the electron, so the electron is forced upwards. And so what we get is a whole bunch of electrons sitting at the top of the wire, and that's why we're giving it the negative sign. Because they've, um, there's now a lack of electrons through the rest of the wire, the, the bottom becomes positive. And this is your induced voltage. So you need to be able to do this to figure out which way the electrons go. It's the same process we've always done into a new situation, okay? just using that same left-hand rule. The explanation, which is what we've been talking about for the last couple of slides, is quite wordy. It's what's happening, and if you can follow that, then you know which way the direction of the electrons goes because that's the, you know what you're following. But it's quite wordy to write down because often in an exam they'll ask you, explain how a voltage is induced. So here's a more summarized version um, that includes all of this. So one really easy sentence. So if a moving conductor cuts magnetic field lines, there are forces on the electrons. This causes a separation of charge, and this is an induced voltage. So let's talk about how... This short explanation is the same as the big explanation to the top. So, a moving conductor, that takes into consideration point one and point two. It's a conducting wire, a conducting wire has three electrons. So I've, I've said one and two by just saying a moving conductor. Then I've said cuts magnetic field lines. So what I mean by cuts magnetic field lines, that's a, um, a physics term to describe something moving perpendicular to. Imagine a, uh, a lawnmower, right? Grass grows directly upwards, and the lawnmower blade um, moves 90 degrees to the grass and cuts it. 
if the lawnmower blade was moving up and down, it wouldn't be able to cut the, the grass off because it would be moving in the same direction. So cuts means goes 90 degrees to, um, and 90 degrees to magnetic field lines. And that induces forces on the electrons. So instead of you know having a really wordy explanation about the electrons make their own magnetic field, this magnetic field interacts with the external magnetic field, I've just said there's forces on the electrons. And then causes a separation of charge. Separation of charge means all the electrons move to one end and the positive end, uh, the positives um, stay at the other end. So you've got one end negative and one end positive. That's said much more succinctly as separation of charge. And then this is an induced voltage. So if there's something you're going to remember for your exam, it's this sentence here. A moving conductor cuts magnetic field lines. There will be forces on the electrons causing a separation of charge. This is an induced voltage. And finally the formula. So the voltage induced is given by the external magnetic field strength. The velocity of the wire has to be 90 degrees to the magnetic field and then the length of the wire in the field as well. So in summary we've got, um, as always in this topic, use your left hand rule for electrons to figure out what's going on. Um, the explanation is um, what I went through before, which you're going to have to remember. So you can use that if you need to. And finally the formula is given to you in your formula sheet.